What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another COD World War II Gun Guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with the stats of all of the weapons in COD World War II. Now, I know I haven't really been keeping up with all these post-launch weapons. I can't keep up with Sledgehammer. They're adding so many guns, and I don't want my whole channel to be just filled with gun guides for a two-year-old game. So I have decided that I probably won't be able to get through all of them, but I'll try and get through the more popular or the better guns that Sledgehammer adds. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the Austin SMG. Now in real life, the Austin is from Australia, it's the Australian version of the Sten, and it's chambered in 9mm Luger. Our damage profile is 35, 30, 23, 19, which means it's going to be a 3 to 6 shot kill. Our rate of fire is 600 rounds per minute, and with rapid fire we can bump that up to 638 rounds per minute. Just for some context here, the Sten has a standard rate of fire of 638 rounds per minute, so the Austin without rapid fire is a little bit slower. Now our statistical minimum time to kill is going to be 200 milliseconds up close, which is quite fast, and then it increases in 100 millisecond increments for each additional shot it takes to kill. As for headshots, we get a standard headshot multiplier of 1.1, and essentially that means that headshots are just not worth going for on this gun, just like with most of the guns in this game. Technically speaking, at some of the longer ranges, if you hit every single bullet to the head, it will reduce the number of shots it takes to kill, but that's simply not practical, and therefore, generally speaking, headshots are worthless. Moving on to ranges, as you can see here, our three shot kill range is pretty good at 12 and a half meters. This is very noticeably better than the Sten, and it's a little bit better than the Grease Gun. Then our four shot kill range extends out to about 22 meters, and then after that we don't drop off to the six shot kill range until about 35 meters. With advanced rifling, our three shot kill range remains unchanged, but our other ranges increase by 25%, and with suppressor, all of our ranges are decreased by 30%. As for Hardcore, we've got a great one-shot kill range for SMGs in Hardcore, and keep in mind, Advanced Rifling does help your one-shot kill range in Hardcore, unlike many of the other SMGs. Getting into Hipfire, the Austin does fall in the slightly worse category when it comes to Hipfire spread for SMGs, but that's only slightly worse, and it is still very viable when it comes to Hipfire. The idle sway is pretty standard for SMGs, and that is to say that there's definitely some noticeable idle sway there, and this means hitting those really precise shots, especially at longer ranges, won't really be too easy as a result of idle sway. Having said that, this gun is very viable at mid to somewhat longer ranges because it has incredible recoil properties. This gun has very little recoil, it is extremely accurate for an SMG, which was quite surprising to me because it's also very powerful, so it's really a deadly combination. This is a very solid gun. As for our magazine capacity, this is the first really big downside to this gun. It's only 25 rounds, and our total starting ammo is going to be 100 rounds. But with extended mags, we can bump that up to 37 rounds in the mag with 148 total starting ammo. Our reload add time is pretty much standard for the SMG category. It doesn't really stand out as being incredibly fast, but it's also not slow by any means at 1.85 seconds. And when it comes to handling and mobility, it's got a standard aim down sight time and sprint out time for SMGs at 190 milliseconds. Our movement speed is 100%, and our aim down sight strafe speed is also standard for SMGs at 72%. So in all, the Austin is a very solid SMG. I would actually say it is a top tier gun in its current state. It is one of the best SMGs in the game. I've really enjoyed my limited playtime with it so far. The big thing is when it comes to attachments, you definitely want to be using extended mags whenever possible, assuming you have it unlocked. And it is nice to use rapid fire as well, just to bring our time to kill a little bit faster than it currently is. It's not to say that it has a really slow time to kill, but it could do a little bit better. When you have those two attachments, you can put whatever else you want for a third attachment. You've got a very versatile SMG. It's fast, it's powerful, it's accurate, and it does well in most situations. So now that we have that covered, let's go into a couple great example classes I have for you guys with this gun. The first one is my standard sort of loadout for any sort of objective game mode where you're most likely going to be running into a lot of grenades, you want to be right in the action. With this, of course, we're using the armor division. We've also got extended mags, rapid fire, as well as advanced rifling on there, just so that you can compete a little bit better at those mid to somewhat longer ranges, because you've got the accuracy for it, so you might as well get the range out of it as well. Our basic training is going to be scoped, which allows us to strafe faster when we're in gunfights, and this is really helpful for evading those shots. Our secondary is just my standard secondary setup, which is a 9mm SAP with extended mags. Then we've got a sticky grenade as our lethal, and a stun grenade as our tactical. As for our next example class, this one is a specialist class setup. I really like using commando with this, so I can have that faster healing time, which really helps when you're going on those longer streaks. 
Also, it's really nice to get those bonuses when you get like double kills and triple kills, for instance, which will help you along with your specialist streak. With this one, we're actually using the exact same attachment setup. We've got extended mags, rapid fire, and advanced rifling. And for our specialist streaks, we're going to be using scoped as our first perk, hunker as our second perk, and forage as our third. As for the secondary, once again, 9mm SAP with extended mags, and the lethal will be a sticky grenade. So with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's gun guide on the Austin. Overall, like I said, this is a very good SMG. It's very solid, very versatile, and I highly recommend it. But of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the Austin in COD World War II? Do you think it's a really good gun? Not a great gun? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, what other post-launch guns that I haven't covered yet would you be interested in seeing me cover? Like I said at the beginning of the video, I can't cover every single one of them, but I will try to cover the more popular ones and the ones that people are requesting the most. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.